distance from her hair but since she has shaved her head completely it's not that far reaching Still in less 
less macho form, I would say, in some ways. right now, you know, the side effects of our doing. It is advanced and it has a, you know, spiking curve of bettering things in a short term, but in a long term it seems to be quite the opposite. If you people watch me on Instagram, you know that I'm a lot into philosophies and I would say like ancient texts of cultures and just the way they view the world. I'm very interested. style like on Sheila I think it looks good I wanted to suggest that it's actually I think easy to do quick to do because it's really like the sprites are thick they are few they are big and yeah as you can see untangling it is uh, rather easy So yeah, lately I've been so, you know, mostly occupied in my free time with just uh, preparing a place we would like to call home in the future. It's, um, it's just a land that's in a very steep, steep upslope. upsloping kind of cascades it uh, has no shade which is good for wine so it was used for wine yards but um, now the way we got it was 
was in very bad condition, garden-wise, you know, or the land-wise, because it was just completely covered with some invasive bush that most of it already got solidified into wood. You know, it starts as a kind of a plant, you know, that you can bend and everything, but then it starts to harden and harden and gets thicker and thicker. Well, and most of the garden was covered with that, and on top of that there was so much mess, like human-created mess, some kind of things from whoever lived there or occupied it or rented it. Just repeating. 
the circus and when you're done with that you've accumulated your own mess that needs to be taken out and so on and so forth it's really like just funky but I would say that lately I've come to a place where I'm really close to finishing at least these preparations and hopefully we'll get approved to place a kind of living unit there we are not building like we are not planning to build as that area is not really friendly to that but we can because it's wine yards but we can hopefully be able to be we will be able to be bring a kind of living unit prefabricated and that's what we want and that's what we're working towards and the aim is to make it a wine yard basically an orchard a kind of nice nature place you know when you say garden in my mind doesn't pop up a front yard and backyard I don't know if it's like because of where we live but when you say garden in at least to me uh, based on my experience from where I am it means really garden like it's not something completely uh, mancrafted you feel like you're in nature to a certain point so I love how the birds are singing there today there was a uh, I can't remember the name a squirrel yeah a squirrel sometimes there are deers sometimes there are wild pigs and I really like that unfiltered experience then also like um, with the the thing is that I was an experience that's why it took me so long you know I didn't know which tools to get what to do what to not do what to avoid uh, how to do it uh, having a vision you know what you actually want to achieve can it do it is that as I was doing it completely alone so when you just like to the cabin it's a uh, I could say like 70 stairs maybe 80 so when you carry something that you have 20 30 pieces of and you can only grab one yeah uh, it kind of does extend the time a lot when you're alone because you don't go 30 times sometimes I would just go there for two days carrying things up and down and that would take two days because I also don't want to like totally exhaust myself there right I always told myself I don't want to be hating coming here I want to still love this place I don't want to get it done and say oh I detest it so much work it broke my back I don't know what like that's not the way I want to achieve it I will still want to do it in kind of loving way so that's definitely a factor why oh sometimes it's really like creepy to say that the progress that I made which is significant but still not as significant as I would, would like to be it's creepy to say that it took me years now because wow but there are times I arrive there and I do nothing just to enjoy being there you know and get the kind of experience of having that place not only as a labor camp
know, growing up in a apartment building all your life, you are kind of an exposed to a lot of things, and you realize it there. There are so many nice things about being out in open, and I think a lot of people realized it during the. that spread it for two years that they don't want to be home like just between walls actually that was the biggest motivator for us I think or accelerator not motivator but accelerator yeah because you realize that Seeing myself as 
It's lovely. I, I love it. I mean. 